what's up guys first video back of 2023 i've just gotten back from new zealand yesterday i went for a two and a half week holiday so i thought a good video back would be a house tour because i just got a new house when i left for new zealand i was literally going to be homeless when i got back it's been super super stressful a year of having like very uncomfortable living situations i've probably moved maybe like over 10 times since I've been in Australia over the last maybe even 15 times since I've been in Oz over the last three years and this is my first time having my own house and my own space so I moved in with my new partner and instead of getting flatmates because I'm over people we're just going to pay a little bit more and turn the other rooms into offices so I got back last night and then we just went uh, to get some drawers yesterday so that I can start unpacking my suitcase and I've just made us some breakfast. He's putting together my drawers. It's like just so nice having someone to help with that stuff and I'm just going to pop out and get us a frappe and then continue unpacking. So yeah. Woohoo! Literally three minutes to coffee club drive through. That's a little bit dangerous but perfect for when you want a morning frappe treat. So I just got back, um, I was drinking, I used to have like a coffee machine at my old house and then I switched to those before you speak coffees during my prep because it's a little bit lower in calories but I just find them to be like so acidic in the morning like on an empty stomach. Um, so yeah I made like a little yummy toasty this morning and the room's looking like a bit of a <laughs> bomb site at the moment because I'm unpacking for my trip. But the first couple of drawers are going in and I'm getting the wardrobe sorted um so yeah i'm just super excited to make this place my own <laughs> and you got your little toy nails so while i was in new zealand i just went around and saw my family i've only been home once since covid so once in three years so yeah i went on a festival tour with my best friend and we went to r &B. And that actually has 25,000 people and I didn't realise I hadn't been to anything that big since my first ever r and five years ago. So that's my five year anniversary of like my first ever festival, like when I first started getting into raves and getting into the music life and everything. And then yeah, saw my family for Christmas and stuff so I'm just super excited to get back and get back into my own routine. It really made me realise how much of an introvert I am, like I need so much alone time i don't have much of a social battery and just traveling around and not being in my own room by myself like it was <laughs> like really draining for me but i was so run down by the end of last year it really made me realize that i really had to check out because i just could not do any more business work i could not think i could not do any more mind mapping for my app i just like could not put another step forward so I really had to have that time to check out and just like fully refresh and yeah just get out of the environment so I'm back and raring to go and I also hadn't gymmed in two and a half weeks so I feel like really gross from not like getting a pump on and challenging my muscles kind of thing so I'm so excited to get back into a healthy routine stop with the takeaways get more home cooked meals lots more veggies hit my protein intake and just like really smash out these business goals for this year i've got such a good feeling because i've had such bad houses i'll go into more of this like in another i'm going to do another video on, on entrepreneurship but i lived with this girl that told me that yeah my dreams were too big blah 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 and that i should stay in rockhampton and um just like I basically ended up doing the opposite and moved to Gold Coast with literally $50 to my name. And yeah, it's just, it's been hard. But then the next house that I lived at, it was in this beautiful forest. You probably would have seen in my other videos. It was like in the hinterlands. It was just so, so pretty. It was meant to be a commune and like this beautiful, safe place away, tucked away in the country hinterlands. But it just turned out not to be very good. And we went through about like 15 flatmates within like eight months or something like that and I was the longest standing one and just I just realized I was carrying so much rage for the whole like end of last year you literally can't even get on with your life and you're just so angry and you don't feel comfortable in your own home and like all this crap is going wrong so I've never had my own place. I've always just like lived in share houses and stuff like that and moved so often. So it's the first time I can decorate it to make it my own. And with my new partner, we decided we're not gonna have flatmates. We're just gonna turn the other rooms into offices and just pay a little bit more for rent in exchange for the peace of mind and 
I'm just so excited for that. So I'll have like my own office and music studio and he's a event photographer as well. So he'll have like an office space to do all his photography and editing and stuff like that. And then, um, yeah, I'm just like so excited for what the future holds. And it was so, so exciting seeing my dog, like just being away from her for two and a half weeks. It's all I could think about. So that was amazing when I came back home to that as well. So I was thinking about doing a pantry makeover as a separate video, but I'm one of those people that starts all these little jobs at once and then you've got all these different things on the go. So I'll just do it as part of the normal house tour. So I'll do a little pantry makeover, a little kitchen tour. One thing I've been getting into lately is all natural cleaning products as well because you're just spraying chemicals around your home and all over your bench and then putting your food on there and then you're just like absorbing that into your body as well. So I'm not perfect, not 100% natural, but I just try to make natural swaps where I can. So one of the ones I've been using lately is this Cove Cleaning. Um, so there's a bathroom one, a glass one, and a service cleaner. It is environmentally friendly as well because they've got these aluminium bottles and they just come in little sachets and you add water. So that feels much better to use natural stuff around the home. I forgot to mention before as well, Cove also have a natural washing liquid for your clothes because that's another thing. You get your washing powder from the supermarket and it's full of chemicals and then you wash your sheets in it, you wash your clothes in it, you're wearing it all day, you're sleeping in it at night and then all of that's just getting absorbed into your skin. So it's just like a lot better feeling knowing that you're reducing your chemical load. Another thing that's kind of like a first world problem, but I used to watch some of my favorite YouTube, like YouTubers and business idols, and they always had these beautiful homes and like did all these, um, like they showed their packages that they were getting and brand deals and stuff like that, and showing off their outfits and different recipes that they're making, and I could just never replicate it because. Like I didn't have the same, oh like, it doesn't really come down to an equipment, but the same environment. So it's, <laughs> it's always been my dream to have a house with like white walls because it's like such a clean space and I've just never had that. And I've lived in some, yeah, like quite bad properties and I've never been in charge of a house because I've always like just had a room and like a share place and always lived private like I'm 26 and this is my first time being on a lease I have no rental history with any like property agents or anything so that's another thing I'm just super excited for because it, like it's a first world problem to have obviously a nice home but because it's my job, like I'm making a plant-based recipe app. So you need nice places where you can take your food photos and make your products look really good and make your, like decorate your dishes with really good lighting and things like that. And then even like with this kitchen thing right now, the last place I was living was like so dark and brown and like I'd go outside on the deck to like try to take nice photos, but like there's just nowhere to get good product shots. So just because I do it for a job, like I'm just so happy to have a place with like so much natural light and white walls. It's like always been my dream. And my partner's also a event photographer. So he just helped me set up this proper light box so I can actually start doing proper filming. And I was so busy at the end of last year, I cut my YouTube videos back to like once a month instead of once a week, just cause I had so much on and was extremely burnt out and fatigued. So I'll do my best to keep on top of weekly videos or at least fortnightly for now. But yeah, I'm just so excited to like be able to do it all properly. So pantry makeover time. I, we got accepted for this place two days after I arrived in New Zealand, which is obviously extremely stressful. And I'd been dating my partner for like two or three months. And he literally moved the whole house, all his stuff and all the photography equipment, all my stuff, everything I own, and looked after my Great Dane while I was away. And literally who does that for a girl they just met? I cannot believe 
like I just I'm so appreciative I honestly can't believe it so he moved everything by himself and like set up the house like beyond my expectations but I'm going to do a little bit of a pantry makeover obviously because this is my first time having my own kitchen as well which is so exciting so he just put everything away and he's like waited to do a few things so that we can make joint decisions together um, but I'm just going to set up the pantry how I like it because I'll be making a lot of recipes and stuff like that and it's always been my dream to like just have my own space so this is the before, so it's kind of all just put in there. Another thing I forgot to mention as well is in my old house, everything had to be contained in our room at all times and I only had one pantry shelf and it didn't fit like obviously all, oh this is both of our stuff all together but like I've got kind of a lot of stuff so I literally had to keep food in my pantry and because it's in the country there's like mice and stuff there and like all these coconut bowls are like dusty ears and stuff like just so much crap like I couldn't even store it anywhere so that was literally my wardrobe this whole time so this is so nice to actually be able to set it up properly i just decided to move all the containers from the shelf into this drawer because we've got this whole bottom thing that we could probably use for space because it's like already getting filled up um, but that's the progress so far so i just made my partner's shelf the top one for anything that i don't use because i can barely reach it um, and then i want to have one of those pantries where like everything's in those pretty um, labeled glass jars like all the oats and different flowers and different nuts and stuff but at the moment this is fine until I like actually get all those different products so I've just like made it all diagonal so it's like kind of a bit easier to see and then this will be all the condiments and milk and stuff like that and then I might put like like yeah like onions and rose veggies and stuff at the bottom just so to make a bit more space at the top um, and then yeah I'll put the air fryer and stuff in that cupboard and containers in there for meal prep. This is another bunch of supplements that I just had to keep in my room the whole time. It was like crazy. Like I, we can't leave anything in public spaces and I only had one shelf. So I literally had like all the food in my pantry, like camping chairs, I mean, in my wardrobe, camping chairs in my wardrobe. All the stuff has just been like in my room. And I had like my DJ decks, my office desk my bed bedside table shelves my great day and like everything was always in my room because it had to be contained so i've got so much stuff here that's like still going to be unpacked all these things i got um to do like ad i got hired to do ads for their brand and stuff so like i haven't even been able to use them or put them out um so yeah that's that and then all these supplements we're gonna have like a full-on supplement shelf so because i wasn't like staying on top of any of my vitamins especially if my mental health was bad and like wasn't eating proper meals i wouldn't take my vitamins or anything like that um so yeah i've been like feeling real crappy for a while so <laughs> so all the supplements and update on the pantry so that's all looking super super tidy now so my partner's shelf uh, this is kind of like the baking shelf and i'll eventually get jars for like all the flowers um stuff like that and then these are like all the condiments and dressings and honey and spreads um spare milk things like that and a few more baking things at the end like flax seeds and lsa and then this will be the supplement shelf and then i'll just probably put his big protein tubs down there so i can have my whole shelf to myself <laughs> and then just like roast veggies and uh sachi veggies and onions and stuff like that so this is so so satisfying and it's crazy you always you never realize how much stuff you have until you actually move house or like do a full-on deep clean so if you haven't done that yet this is your sign to literally go through every single drawer you own every single cupboard every single item of clothing every single piece of food in the pantry like there's so many double ups of like different sauces and stuff like that and so many like so many items of food that might be going off soon that you just have forgotten that are in there and forgotten to use um so yeah it's really really i'm quite a minimalist so it's really important to go through your stuff all the time and then you can see like oh my god you like you, we really only need to buy like fresh fresh veggies and milk and stuff for the next while or oh, and mock meat and then just try use like as much stuff in the pantry as we can because that's a lot <laughs> 
have these products from More Life as well. So I'm an ambassador, an ambassador for them. They sent me some protein powder. I love this adaptogenic berry de-stress drink. So it's got licorice, magnesium, iron, uh, different vitamins in there to help with stress, obviously. Um, but it's a really delicious like blueberry kind of flavor and you just mix it into water or mix it in your shaker and you can take it to work with you. We'll just drink it in in the afternoon for a bit of a boost. And there's a gut restore one to help with digestion and this falafel mix as well. So yeah, they've got some really good products and I've got a discount code if you wanna give any of them a try. Oh my god, the supplement shelf is done and it is honestly ridiculous. I've had so much of the stuff packed away, like so many things I've got sent for like creating ads for the companies and stuff. Some of it I bought myself. I used to work at a health store so some of the products were going out of date and I got it for free or they were like samples and stuff like that. And it's like a bit out of control. I literally took up the whole shelf just with my stuff. So yeah, it's just a really good reminder. Since I've been feeling so crap, I wasn't eating for like eating well for months, like proper balanced meals because my mental health was so bad. I wasn't taking my supplements. So I really have to get on top of it and just make recipes with it in, like all the different berry powders, the green powders and start making smoothies and just smashing it in just to like get through some of the stock because it's actually stressful. So this is it. <laughs> Who has that many supplements? So I've got like protein puddings, my creatine, of course, um, different protein powders at the back. I've got like four protein powders because I got given some for my birthday and stuff. I've got um, some microdose mushrooms there, like iron um, fizzy things to put into drinks. I got some kelp supplements, like all the vitamins there, MCT oil, immune supplements, more pre-workout for when mine runs out, greens powders at the back, mushrooms powders at the back. Just so, so much. <laughs> That's like stressful because I'm such a minimalist. So I really need to get through the stash and then it'll help me feel a lot better once I like actually empty out the pantry a little bit. So this is the final pantry anyway. So this is looking so organized, so beautiful, so satisfying. Everything's in its place. We even have this little like coffee cupboard. I need to get through even all this stuff. That gingerbread latte, I've got a few of those. So I'm just gonna put them into cookies and things like that. And those naked harvest, harvest ones, they're like a bit, I don't really drink them at night because they're like a bit creamy. So I'll just try and incorporate it into baking and stuff like that as well. But they've got good nutrients in them for relaxation and stress as well. But yeah, I think that is a pretty good job for a day. Moving house and doing all this is quite energy taxing. So I'll probably go have a bit of a lay down, but that is honestly like the cleanest I've ever been. So I'm so stoked with myself. Mikey whipped out his old Polaroid camera as well. So we're gonna start taking shots of our special moments and then put them up on a little string with those tiny wooden pegs in the hallway or something like that. So that's me eating my first meal in the house that he cooked me the yummy stir fry him cooking for me last night when I was feeling unwell with a headache and then me with my brand new favorite drawers ever I haven't even had a car that could fit drawers in and I've moved so many times so it's so nice to have furniture that's special to me now that I'm finally getting settled so yeah so this is our shibari feature as well which is like ancient Japanese rope tines that's what my partner does and when he was away he messaged me and asked if this is like unnecessarily sexual to have in the entrance of the house but I was like no this is exactly us in a nutshell and I'm pretty sure no one else has something like this in the home. So it's looking so pretty with the pink lights and everything um, and yeah it's just got like ropes all on it so I thought that was like something super cool and different. And then in here we've just got the guest bathroom as well. He bought me some magnesium salts for when I get back so that I can have a bath. So that's super, super lovely. Um, yeah, so that's that. Another thing which I can't show too much of in real life is this feature wall of my modeling photos. So in my last relationship, I was like, I basically gave up all my modeling because I was made to feel ashamed, you shouldn't be showing too much skin, it's attention seeking, just all these bad things and like it really shut me off from my favorite thing to do in my whole life. So <laughs> my boyfriend now 
printed off huge photos of some of my favorite prints ever done. It was like these really artistic ones. I'll put a collage here of some censored ones so you can see what it is because I can't obviously <laughs> walk past in real life. Um, I just realized as well, like the fire alarm guy came. <laughs> funny but my boyfriend just wants to celebrate me and like I don't know it just like put me on a pedestal and encouraged me to do all this stuff so we printed them off in huge black and white photos and framed them and put them down the hallway this is one that he took himself as well which isn't too risque but yeah it just feels so nice to be celebrated and have my body art literally on the wall like that <laughs> So for dinner, Mikey made us some yummy plant-based chicken stir fry and it's got some veggies and toasted peanuts for a bit of crunch and then just one of those microwave black rice for some carbs. So super easy and yummy. Okay, so I just dyed my hair. This stuff is a bit, bit of a pain in the butt because it's pastel, so it literally washes out after like two washes. Um, so you've got to do it quite regularly. So I'm just waiting for the dye to set in. Had a bit of like a, I'm still like real queasy after the holiday, like really sick in the time. I feel like I need to spew all the time. My whole neck's like all inflamed and like got migraines and stuff. So I ended up just going back to bed to have a little bit of a rest. So I'm gonna have a shower and wash this out and like half an hour or something like that and then we me and my partner are going to have a business meeting because he's got heaps of ideas for my brand for this year which is super exciting and I've laid out all my goals like I need to make my high ticket life transformation coaching program I'm going to call it reborn and I have to launch my plant powered recipe app and I've got all this stuff and all these goals but he's got lots of different ideas of ways he can in incorporate his photography into my bodybuilding prep and different collaborations I can do with other models and stuff like that as well and I'm just getting back into tracking food because I just like didn't do it last prep because I just don't like it because I I'm real big into intuitive eating and especially if you're dining out or like eating a meal with lots of different ingredients it's hard to like recall exactly what goes into there what's exactly in one portion size and I've never weighed anything in my life either so um I'm finally getting back into that this morning I made us a yummy salami toasty with like plant-based salami, like a slice of cheese, uh, cos lettuce and tomato and that was so so good and then he's just cooking us some tempeh and rice for lunch which is very nice. So we'll have our business meeting and then hopefully I feel well enough to do a shoot this afternoon. Uh, my friend who has a germ accessory company asked if I wanted to do some featuring on her website so Mikey will do all the photos so we've got to go to the gym but it's really awkward because you can't like film at the gym like you can but but like you can't get anyone else in the background and like you don't want to feel other gym people feel awkward thinking that they're in the shot and then people will stare at you because they wonder what you're doing and stuff as well so we've got to film like the gym bags the ankle straps and we'll probably do the lifting straps and stuff later on in the week so i'll wash all my hair get ready freshen up have like a one or two hour business meeting and like map out the whole year which is super super exciting and nice to feel on track with lots of things to work towards and then yeah hopefully feel well enough for the shoot and then probably just relax tonight because my neck is just giving me the worst migraines ever so we had our little meeting and it ended up going really well. It's something we've been meaning to do for months. We talked about lots of different stuff. Like, he's so good. He's like, is there anything missing from our relationship? And like, where do you see us in five years and stuff like that? People really need to take the time to think about that stuff because it's good to just like sit down and reflect on it and like write notes and make sure everyone's on the same page. <laughs> Manny, come here. You want to say hi? Come here. It's good to make sure everyone's like on the same page and stuff like that. 
and that you're working towards like common goals. So that was really good. Um, so we'll have like monthly relationship meetings to go over little things that before they become an issue and like anything that we can improve on. And then lots of stuff with the business meeting, like all these different shoot ideas and different people we want to collaborate with. We're going to do like a UV body paint photo shoot with this man that um, paints all the performers at the bush jokes and stuff like that and um, my partner will be the photographer so there's all these different ideas to create and photo, photo shoots we need to do for my app and um, just all this different stuff so i'm feeling honestly so not good like my neck my head my glands are up like so nauseous and yucky in my tummy so i don't think i'll do the shoot for my friend today we'll try schedule it in for monday night so honestly i'm just going to take the afternoon out to rest and just like get out my brand new 2023 diary and write some notes on um like planning out everything from my to-do list and putting it into actual days of the week and stuff like that so i can have a productive week ahead and probably just take the rest of the day to chill out i put some hot chips in the air fry and had some um like this drink for my tummy called eno's just to try to settle it a bit but yeah i'm probably just like feeling all the stress from last year and coming back from holiday and all the stuff making this app is such a big mental thing like there's so many different parts like how do, how much content needs to be on there till it's ready the whole marketing plan like so many different pieces going into it and recipes and food photography blah 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 and calories and macros because i'm going to make it more intuitive eating base i don't follow sorry that's the air fryer i don't follow plans so i don't want to give specific plans with like calories and macros and this is but sorry this is what you need to eat exactly at this meal exactly on this day because i don't eat like that so i just want to give ideas and like send push notifications when new recipes get added and stuff like that and only i'll have a category for comp prep hacks with like high protein meals or low calorie hacks so for only those things i'll add the calories and macros so that's about it. I'll see if there's anything else to film for the rest of the day, but I hope you enjoyed the video. My hair is dyed now. I'll curl it tomorrow so it's like a bit more purple and peach, which is really pretty. Welcome to my office. This still has to be set up, but I've just done a little bit. I put up the speakers and the DJ deck, so <laughs> I can literally have my own music studio in my own house. That is <laughs> so crazy. I was always playing through headphones before, even recording my mixes through headphones, but my partner bought me speakers for Christmas, which is honestly the most thoughtful thing ever. So I'm going to get a collection of these cool posters to put up on this wall here to make it look really awesome. Uh, that's just like my storage shelf stuff I've got to put away still and then my work desk. So I'll set it up with my plants. I've got my fern here that's like hanging on for dear life after I got back from New Zealand. And yes, yeah, so that's my work desk. And when I got back, my boyfriend printed off this little thing. I don't know if you've ever heard of Valuetainment. He's like this business guy that gives really good entrepreneurship youtube videos and stuff so it's like this questionnaire for self-discovery so my partner printed it off and put it on my desk in case i want to do a little workbook um so yeah that's that so so excited to make this space my own pretty millie pretty millie you're so happy aren't you you're so happy forward to the rest of the year and getting back into my videoing schedule i've got so many cool ideas and different video ideas and like lots of stuff to teach you and talk about 
with regards to nutrition, wellness, lifestyle, business, and things like that. So I'm so excited for what's to come. Don't forget you can head to my Instagram at Cassie Amber, and I've also got TikTok now as well. This one won't be on the podcast because it's like a visual kind of video, but for most of my YouTube videos, I copy them over to my Plant Power podcast. So the links for everything will be below in the description. So thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you have a wonderful week ahead and don't forget to like and subscribe as well. Bye.